Well, hello. You know, I've been told over the years that some things in life necessitate blood, sweat, and tears. I don't think there'll be much sweat because it's kind of a cool morning, but the blood part I think might be true. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes to make this video, so I hope you appreciate the information. I'm just having fun with you. I want to talk to you this morning about mycorrhizal fungi. Myco refers to mycology. That's the study of mushrooms. Michael Reisel. Reisel refers to the rhizosphere. One of the previous videos that I just did about the area around the root of the plant where the life of the soil interacts with the plant and actually has a symbiotic relationship. This mushroom that I'm looking at here is a bolete. I don't know the, the species of this bolete, but boletes are mycorrhizal fungi. They are fungi that actually have symbiotic relationships with plants. So one of the things I want you to understand is 90% of all the plants on the planet can have a relationship, a symbiotic relationship with mushrooms. A percentage of them, I think it's somewhere around 50 to 60% really need it to be healthy. So the really interesting thing about mushrooms <clears throat> is that their mycelia in one cubic inch of soil their mycelia is almost like their root system, okay, their hyphae. Their, my, their mycelia has the capacity, if it's well inoculated in one cubic inch of soil, three miles of hairs in one cubic inch. So what is so fascinating about, about it is that when this mushroom attaches itself to the rhizosphere of the plant, it increases the plant's capacity to take in water and to take in minerals. It increases the capacity of the plant because all of a sudden it's attached to a whole entirely different network and root system. So what's really fascinating about mushrooms is they have the ability to extract minerals out of a rock. They can take secrete acids, extract minerals, and those minerals are what the plants need. That's why they come up to the rhizosphere around the root of the plant. They they actually excrete those minerals right there next to the root. The plant gets excited because it needs those minerals and it actually gives the mushroom back um, carbohydrates that it's producing from its photosynthesis. A mushroom can't photosynthesize, so it's dependent on plants. Well, plants are dependent on mushrooms. So God designed these living systems to be interdependent upon one another. And these symbiosis, these symbiotic relationships are so important to understand. So in the garden, it's the same way. The, there are fungus in your soil that are relating to your garden plants. And if they're there and they're, and they're healthy, your plants will thrive. If you're treating your soil with fungicides, with pesticides, herbicides, different sides, we talked in the past video, side is the word for death. If you're out there killing things in your garden, what you're doing is you're setting yourself back. Because the more that you kill, in your garden, um, the more void there is for pest and disease to rise up. Like I've said before, and you'll hear me say it again, um, pest and disease are the weaker, they're the weaker organisms in an ecosystem. And the only way they can thrive is if the ecosystem breaks down and is unhealthy in some way. It's like the bully in the neighborhood, okay? If, if you got one bully in a neighborhood and you got a lot of strong, you know, helpful people in the neighborhood, that bully's not gonna act up until they're gone. And when all, he perceives that they're not around, that's when he's gonna act up. It's the same way for pest and disease. So the more you can help your garden, your woods, your orchard, whatever it is, have these mycorrhizal um, relationships, your plants be able to have those relationships, much more healthy you're going to be in those gardens. And then the nice thing is these mushrooms are actually, um, some of them are edible. So this one I'm going to check. I'll, I'll share with you what I do when I'm seeking to identify a bleat, whether or not I'll, I'll eat it. The cap is firm. If the cap was really soft, it would mean that it was quite old. If there was blue, 
on this bolete in any way, and if there was red on this bolete, I wouldn't eat it. There are edible species that have red and they have blue, but they're not, they're not something I'm going to play around with. Now, if I cut into a bolete and I take a look and I watch, if it stains blue, if all of a sudden the, the flesh of this cap or the stem, I could trim the stem some, if that were to stain blue, then I would stay away. Again, there are edible species that would stain blue, but if you want to stay away from the poisonous ones, this is, this is what we do. So if it doesn't stain blue, what I would do is I would take just a little bit Always spit it out. You don't want to eat mushrooms raw. All mushrooms really need to be cooked. There are there are um, constituents in mushrooms that really need to be cooked down. It's not bitter. If it had been bitter, then it, it was it would be one that I would not eat. So it doesn't stain blue. It doesn't have red on it, and it's not bitter. This is a belief that I would put in my in my basket now. You can see some of the mushrooms I've got this morning. I've got some chanterelles, and I'm going to put this bleed in here. Now, I don't want you to just wander out to the woods and start picking mushrooms and just start eating them. I want to take you through um, more videos, and I think you also need to start looking into other people's videos if you're really interested in, in hunting mushrooms. Um, but... Uh, Adding mushrooms to your diet has a lot of benefits, especially for your mind. There's a lot of research coming out that is talking about how um, eating a, a couple meals of wild mushrooms a week can really help cognitively as a person gets older. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to um, end it here. I hope that uh, you'll take seriously the need for mushrooms, especially in your garden, to help your plants. And uh, I hope this was a blessing. If, if this information helped you, share it with other people. Let them know about the resource. Well, God bless you. You take care. Bye-bye.